Well, hello there. I'm the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. What we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, a bottle of beer, sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the label. We read everything on the label. We take a look at the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. Well, first of all, <clears throat> there are a number of things we <clears throat> do here. First, all beers should be served at the correct temperature. Lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The good folks at Thermoworks sent me one of their lollipop thermometers. That way I test the temperature of all the beers we taste. There's a link to their <coughs> organization in the description box below. And if you want to know the temperature, the perfect temperature for your beer, just click on the banner above and I'll let you know. Also, we always use the same glassware for all of our tastings. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And finally, most tasters will they will look, they will sniff, they will sip, and they will pontificate. Well, I'll pontificate, but I'll sip first. Why? Wine expert Fred Dex will explain it all to you. He does it a lot better than I do. All right, what do we have here? <coughs> all right, from the North Fork Brewing Company, we have their Shaolin. S-H-A-O-L-I-N, Shaolin Shadow Boxer, 8.1% alcohol by volume. It is a double India Pale Ale with cashmere, mosaic, and Eldorado hops. Craft rules everything around Maine, C-R-E-A-M. Get the hops, y'all. Uh, explain that to me someday, please. The Independent Brewers Association, uh, well, the um, Brewers Association gives it their seal of an independent brewer. Brewed and canned by North Fork Brewing Company, Riverhead, New York. Out on Long Island, oh, further out on Long Island. I'm in, Bron Bro in Brooklyn, and Brooklyn is part of Long Island, folks. Government warning, <clears throat> according to the Surgeon General, I should not be a pregnant woman or operate heavy machinery. No problem. Brewers Who Farm, our mission. North Fork Brewing Company is dedicated to creating craft beer anchored in our rich North Fork traditions of agriculture, hard work, and good times. Welcome to our tasting room at 24 East 2nd Street, Riverhead, New York, 11901. And this was canned on September 12th, 23. It says, learn more at no fo brewing no fo bruco n o f o b r e w c o dot com and so september 12 and we are in november 16th a couple of months old eh, for that type of an alcohol content i don't think we're gonna have to worry well it looks kind of it looks kind of like a tiger there that's what it looks like <coughs> real r type of a thing so i'm i'm expecting at eight 0.1% alcohol by volume. I'm expecting a real hoppy type of full-bodied buxom knock me on the head ale. Let's crack it open and see if it meets those expectations. Oh, six dollars and ninety-nine cents at the local beer barrel. Bum, bum, bum. All right, here we go. Oh, a little haze to it. Not too much. No, it looks. Well, we'll see. I'm certainly getting a lot of aromatics already. A smidge. No, not, not, that might be a chill haze because let's see. You know, we're at 54.7 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's right in the sweet spot as far as the temperature is for an ale. It looks like an ale. Let's see if it tastes like one. Cheers. Yeah, I took two sips. Um, the reason is, <clears throat> it's kind of an acclimation sip, they call it, but I, I, I put it this way. 
it's an early uh, Sunday afternoon and my, my taste buds, they're sleeping, they're napping. They need to be woke. Well, I just woke them. <clears throat> Let's see what their uh, olfactory friends have to say. Well, okay. I'm getting a lot of citrus, and when I say citrus, I mean grapefruit and uh, lemon in there. <clears throat> That's in the aroma. Anyway, let's see what the taste buds have to say about that. There's a good body to this beer to start with. There's a good malt base. When I say malt base, it's a, a grainy type of a toasty type of a... Uh, the British would call it a biscuit, we would call it cookie flavor, but the hops, yeah, this is this is definitely a hop game, that is for sure, which is what it should be for an Indy Pale Ale. And I must say the hops are doing a great job. It's an interesting combination of them, I can't readily identify whether it's a, a floral, and when I say floral, like going into a florist shop, or whether it's like going into a barnyard or one of those things, but it is balance and balance i think right here this is a walinda of all beers look it up <clears throat> definitely this is a walinda family beer boy if, if they ever had one yes so does shaolin shadow boxer from the good folks at north fork brewing company meet expectations well you know something i was expecting a kick in the butt but this balance just it blows me away so, I must say, it might not have met expectations, but it's a great little beer. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss anything. Give us a thumbs up, share us with your friends, and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.